Welcome, this is the AP Physics Workbook Solution. Here we have Unit 2, Dynamics. The section is 2.F, Direction of Friction. Here's the scenario. A bulldozer of mass M pushes a cube of cement of mass little m across a rough surface. The bulldozer and the cube are speeding up. Part A, you're going to use some representation by drawing the forces here. And you're going to draw the free body diagram showing and all labeling all the forces. Let's do the first one. There are four forces acting on this bulldozer here. I'm going to give you the first two. The force gravity is going to go down. Force norm is going to go up. They're the same length. Now there's going to be two forces to the left and to the right. The force pushing it forward is the force on the ground on the bulldozer. That is what's causing the bulldozer to go forward. There's also a force back. Pushing it back is the force of the cube on the bulldozer. The reason why the left force is smaller is because the scenario states that the bulldozer and the cube are speeding up. Next, I'm going to work on the cube. Force normal and force gravity goes up for force normal. Going down is force of gravity. They are the same length. Now we have to deal with the left and the right forces. The four, the four that is going forward is the bulldozer on the cube. And what is going to go back is the force of friction. It might not make sense here until we're going to do the bulldozer and cube system together now it's going to make sense force normal is going to go up force gravity is going to go down the to the force gravity here is a combination of these two because you are combining the mass and the length of the force of gravity is also going to be the same length as the force normal now you want to deal with the forward motion and the left motion the forward motion is going to be one of these determine which one do you think it is Here's a hint. Look about the forces that cancel out. So do you see here the force of the cube on the bulldozer? That's going to get canceled with the opposite force, bulldozer on cubed. The only thing that you have left is force of ground on bulldozer, which is going to go forward, and force of friction, which is going to go back. Here you could see it. In this system, the ground on bulldozer is the force that's going forward and what is going back is the force of friction because the cube on bulldozer and bulldozer on cube due to Newton's third law cancel each other's out. Now you could look like in part B, you're going to set up this equation, writing the equation based on Newton's second law. Here I gave you the equation based on Newton's second law. For the first one, the forward motion is going to be positive. To the right is positive. To the left is negative. So I have forward, the force of the ground on bulldozer, which is positive, minus the force of the cube on the bulldozer, which is left. That's minus. That is going to be equal to the mass times the acceleration. The second one, it should have a smaller mass. So that is incorrect. And it should have a smaller mass of little m. Okay, little m is going to be multiplied because that is the mass of the cubed. Okay, and the forward motion on that one is for force of the bulldozer on cube is going to be minus the force of friction. If you would like to see it, the bulldozer and cube, all you have to do is you add these two together. So you have this one, then you're going to add it with this one. Okay. Notice when you add them together, what happens? The You are going to see that the force ground on bulldozer is going to get canceled. Okay. So look at the cancellation here. F of bulldozer on cube cancels out because if you add these two, Right, these two cancels out. The other thing you have left over is the force ground on bulldozer minus the force of friction is equal to the right hand side. And the right hand side should look something like this. Okay. So after that canceled out, I made it simple. It should look like this. Okay. 
this should not be an equal sign this should be an add because you are adding those two masses together because that is the mass of the system all right the last part is asking us to derive a equate um is to derive the acceleration of the system so it's very straightforward if we have this equation we can use it here the first part the force on the ground of the bulldozer is 5000 newton then it's going to be subtract the force of friction in the problem says 2000 newtons that's going to be equal to the first mass they said that was 1000 kilograms plus the second mass which is 500 kilograms and that's going to be multiplied by the acceleration once we plug it in it should simplify in in 3000 newtons on the left hand side that is the unit for friction on the right hand side it is 1500 kilograms which is the weight unit and that's going to be multiplied by the acceleration to get acceleration alone you have to divide by 1500 to both sides then you should get a final answer of the two meters per second is going to be equal to the a please understand that this a is the a of x but also could also be the a of the system let me just write the units so you can see it here meters per second squared here and again if you need algebra i just divided by the 1500 here right that's how i did it all right but there you go that is how you do 2.f